There gang, such all man, so there's not on back another year. Actually, we got a UDY vid, no cap, man. One of my favorite videos watching on this channel. Uh, I didn't already read the title, man. I'm gonna tell y'all straight up, bro. Everybody got a work bay, bro. Like, no cap. Your girl says she going to the meetings. She going to the meetings, all right, bro. You know what I'm saying, man? And I'm gonna just say straight up, but from my persona, bro, it's dangerous out there, bro. I ain't even gonna lie. Because they'd be like, oh, he's just a client, you know what I'm saying? And it'd be a whole nother situation, bro. You know what I'm saying? And no, I don't got waves, man. I'm growing my hair out. I got a nice little fur going on. You know what I'm saying? Let's go, Kyle Royal TK, man. Let's get into it. Bro, and especially if your girl bad, bro. Oh, my God, boy. Oh, my God, if your girl bad, bro. Everybody gonna be trying to shoot at that, bro. I'm just saying. Hey, what's up? Hi. Let's get into it, so nice to meet you. Likewise, likewise. Come on in. Like I said, the cameras are already rolling. We're just finishing setting everything up. Today we're placing Brandon's boyfriend Marco to a loyalty test. You know what you're saying, right? You got the yeah. practice and you got the notes and yeah. <laughs> everything. Yeah. Our decoy pilot will be testing Marco's loyalty by hitting on him and asking him on a date. Will he remain loyal or will he entertain Violet's advances? Last uh, chance to back out. You want to back out? No. 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 We're doing this. We're going out. Yeah, Sergio got the Costco oh, fit. Nervous. Yeah. I didn't even know they had hoodies. It'll be over. I'll be done with him. You know the guys really soft. Maybe we can make my ex really jealous. Do you want to go upstairs then? Let's go. It'd be the niggas that, duh, bro, what am I doing wrong, bro? Like, I used to be, I used to, I ain't gonna lie, man. In my past, bro, I used to dog females, but now I'm a lover boy and I learned from that shit, but like. <laughs> It's just like y'all be letting these dudes like. My team got in contact with Brianna. That's we'll not like that. You see, she's a model, and we were supposed to hire her to play decoy in another video. Ironically enough, though, during the process, she ended up mentioning, "Hey, I would be down to test my boyfriend." So we were like, "If you're down, we're down. We could do that instead." So my boyfriend he has a moving company, mm -hmm. but I feel like he's using that as an excuse to talk to other girls. He's always telling me that he's at work. He comes home late. Mm -hmm. He keeps getting texts like I'll hear his phone ringing. So like. Hide it. He'll go outside. Mm -hmm. My intuition is telling me that he's cheating on me, doing something. And he him. says he's not. He says that they're clients. Gotcha. Brianna's I just told y'all right. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. He's always working late and communicating with his clients, but Brianna is suspicious. She thinks that he's talking to other girls and using his job as cover. I guarantee, I you, bro, bro. It's sad that I gotta think like this, but like. It can't be a continuous cycle when you just working late. Like, if, if, if there's a continuous cycle of that, man, pack your bags, bitch, you can get the fuck, man. I ain't even gonna lie, bro. <laughs> nah, because ain't no way you just all of a sudden just continue to work late. Oh, I'm working late. I'm working late. Like, come on now. It's shit, I'll pop up at, like, hey, let me, let, shit, I'll wait outside. And I guarantee she gonna say no. But a lot of red flags. Yeah, because if the girls that he's talking to, if they're his clients, I feel like he should only be talking to them, like, two weeks at the very most, maybe. Hang on. Like, appropriate business hours? Yeah, I've been to him a lot of times, but... <laughs> He's making excuses. He even gave me a promise ring that he wants to marry me. So I'm just oh. confused. Oh, he gave you a promise? Yeah. Can you say, are you wearing it? No. Well, I'm not wearing it right now. I put it in my purse. Gotcha. So oh, my God. Oh, my God. He says I'm overreacting. I think he's trying to, like, calm me down. Mm. I want to make sure he's being real. Now, this came as a revelation. Apparently, Marco had given Brianna a promise. That's a nasty word. It's pretty crazy. I know it's not an engagement ring, but it's still a big deal. He's basically promising to eventually propose. I don't think he handles rings as just anybody. Or maybe Marco does. Maybe he's a player on a different level. Or maybe that's nice right. Word. Maybe he just gave her that ring to get her off his ass. Maybe he's such a player that he's gonna give our decoy pops. I doubt it, but it'd be crazy if he does. Because you know when he comes over, Violet is gonna hit on him. What do you want him to say to her? I just hope that he respects me. Yeah. Behind my back. Is there any like limits to how far like you want the decoy to like if yeah. there's an opening to go all the way Boy, through? Boy, I thought he said something else. Like, how much do you mind her with her? Yeah, just like yeah, Mr. Mosley. She could go all the way, whatever, whatever she's feeling in the moment. Okay. All the way. Slam oh. dog. Give me five years, bro. I'm 21. I'm about to be 21 and two. Give me like five years, bro. I'm gonna have a lamb. I'm so have a lamb. 
I guarantee you. And your car, so you're already uncomfortable with it. Since Brianna thinks that the girls that Marco talks to aren't really his movie clients, the plan is for Violet to become one of his movie clients. A couple days ago, we had her call him up and ask him to come to her house to give her an estimate on how much he would charge her to help her move. You know what you're saying, right? You got the yeah. practice in, you got the notes in, everything. Notes. We only had one oh. shot at this, so before calling Marco, we called Hey, how you apply? I need to apply. Then you go see me on these. As it turns out, these companies do but don't like to give in person estimates. They prefer to quote you over the phone or online with an hourly rate or a ballpark price. But that, of course, wasn't going to work for us. We needed Marco to come to this house, which is why we ended up making Violet rich and complicated. Hi, is this... How can I help you? I am calling because I wanted to hire some members to help me out uh, moving from my house. Yeah, okay, sure. Can you tell me a little bit about uh, moving your home? Like, yeah, uh, so I have, it's a two-story home, 6,000 square feet, Damn. four bedrooms, five bathrooms, there's a backyard, a pool, multiple sofas, walk-in Man, I ain't gonna lie, it's man. Just, it's a, I'm a nigga. I don't even know if I would get that. I know I'm on topic, but I don't even know if I would get all of that, man. Like, that's a lie. I, I'm a type. I would stay in an apartment and put up like some designs and all that around my shit man, and, and call it a lot um, honestly, I'd probably get like a, you like that here, at 40 do you guys do in-person estimates um yeah I, I can definitely do that I mean you can also just send me pictures of the home and I can give you an estimate through those just to make it easier I you. don't think you get the full sense of like how big the house is also there's like some things I want to keep some things I don't want to keep so I I don't know I think you should come in person just so it's um easier Okay, I mean, you can also just let me know which items are going to stay. Um, no, I think, I just think it would be easier. It's a lot to explain. As expected, Marco offered alternatives, but luckily for us, Damn. money talks. Honestly, I have like a $10,000 budget. I can pay you just to come down on top of whatever I pay for the move. Okay. Yeah, I guess, I could, yeah, that can definitely work. Okay, awesome. Thank um, you so much. Well, well, you might just send me the address then so that way I can know. Um, and just like that, Violet became Marco's moving client. You guys know what you're doing? You guys know your lines and everything? Yeah. yeah. Kyle, this is your girlfriend for the video. Oh. For the video. Make it like start and go. <laughs> One day we're gonna have to test Kyle's loyalty. Uh oh, Kyle, you're in trouble. Just kidding, I bet Kyle is as loyal as they come. <laughs> Follow him if you agree. I don't wanna get him mad or jealous mm -hmm. or disrespect him or nothing like that. Yeah. I assure to have him that involved. it's just words. Huh? I even invite him on set so that he doesn't have to worry about me lying or anything right. like that. So I'm open and honest about everything that I do. But with him, it's the opposite. He's more secretive. I think it's important to mention that Brianna isn't the only one suspicious in this relationship. Marco is also suspicious of her talking to other guys. As I said before, Brianna is a mom. Man, she gets man I ain't got time for that shit, man. Oh my gosh. Yo, if you gonna be in a relationship, bro, trust the number one, Dean, bro. If you over here just saying, oh, I'm a cheap because I think you talking to someone. Like, bro, that's just, bro, just end it. Like, Oh my god. All the time we on video shoots. You're telling the same thing, right? Uh, to it's me, bro, that's funny. always been like childish and shit. Like, come on, bro. Y'all y'all grown as fuck talking about, oh yeah, I think you cheating on this, so I'm gonna go It's working, I just get hired like, for video shoots. Come on, bro, this generation is good. But you're not doing anything with other people. Or well, maybe you are. I'm loyal. <laughs> but I asked him if I could go with him and he'll he'll tell me no. That's so, what I was just saying. Weird. So these two That's have what the I was same just saying. are telling each other the same so thing, up. which makes me wonder who got suspicious first. If you say no to him, yeah, I'll say her. I would not recommend to date a model or a photographer. But then I'm both. <laughs> I'm not saying anybody's cheating here, but I think it's easier to cheat as a model versus a mover. So maybe Marco acts suspicious first. He either said or did things in spite, which then caused Brianna to get suspicious. Just and no now trust. We're here. Do you have the promise no trust. Trust. You yeah. Can I see it? Is it okay? Is that cool? Yeah. Is that fine? But then again, maybe Marco really is a loyal man, and he gave Brianna a promise ring to try to prove that to her. Oh, they, oh, they, oh, wow. Oh, that's actually pretty nice. I know. Real diamonds. That's actually pretty nice. Is it real, real diamonds? diamonds? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's real diamonds. I thought it was oh, gonna be like a regular shit. ring, so like a little band and everything. Like, no. <laughs> Look at this ring, Gail. If this is real, this is a ton of money to spend just to get somebody off your back. I found something comparable online between 500 and 1,000 bucks. So maybe Marco's loyal and maybe he's not gonna cheat. But then again, maybe the ring's not even real and he just told her that it was. I think he, he a diamond loves me, but I also think he's a I think it's rare. I think he wants both. 
but hopefully I'm just being dramatic. Hello? Oh, she's on her phone. She's on her phone. I think he's here. Okay, I'm gonna come out and help you. Uh, I'll be out there. Yeah, he's here. Marco had arrived, which meant that this test was now in full swing. About to get it cracked, man. My bad, I had to make it up quick. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yeah, Violet, nice to meet you. Oh, here we go. Thanks for making the trip. Yeah, yeah, no, of course. Yeah, okay. too bad. Yeah, I did actually leave. Uh, I, didn't go I was getting on this fit before, man. I forgot he coming to work. But I don't know what that little thing is on your right, bro. That look a little no diddy bro. <laughs> so I'm gonna try. Yeah, really no, quick. Still yeah. Violet is pretending to have left her purse in her very expensive car, and apparently, as she looks for it, Marco's eyes wander. <laughs> to be fair, for all we know, Marco could just oh, be checking out the right, boy, Let's give this man the benefit of the doubt. Let's not label them a dog just yet. Is he just checking out the He definitely was checking out the last girl. He looks mesmerized. Oh, oh my god, bro, them eyes is down. Oh, color, yeah. Have you ever been in one? I have not. He don't even you know the it? color of the land. You want to go in? Um... Sure. Yeah, I can show you. You can go on that side. I'll show you. Yeah, yeah. I don't see my purse. It's fine. Violet can't seem to find her purse, but that's all part of the plan. It'll come up again later, so don't forget about it. I don't know how I feel like if I just have my partner go into a random car or someone, but they just not. Yeah. Finally, like Marco here by pretending to be rich. This house and Kyle's Lamborghini are definitely reinforcing that. But Marco is here on business, so in order for Violet to make her move, he fast starts tearing down the professionalism. Which is why Violet invited him to check out the car and will invite him to do more later. She needs to be Marco's most laid back and chill customer ever. Yeah. Do you like following content creation like that type of stuff? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, it's, it's um. All right, man. All right, nah, bro. Nah, that that that's wraps. Bro, I don't even need to see no more. This nigga done asked the sight, bro. This nigga done asked the sight, bro. Like, like. Bro asked, what sight? That ain't got nothing to do with your jar, bro. You cheating ass nigga, bro. They ain't got nothing to do with your jar, bro. Hey, it's GG, man. I, I don't see this dude passing, bro. Real shit. I don't see him passing. I do not see this dude passing. I mean, the nigga already, you know what I'm saying? He liked what he saw. Look at his, he saw his eyes, bro. Nah, man, that that's crazy. So now you probably pay for the shit, too. You probably pay for OnlyFans, too. Now you in a whole full relationship, bro. What? <laughs> After a bit nah, of that's talk, Violet eventually starts bringing Marco inside. Ain't no I way he passed. Like more sporty, kinda. Yeah, come over here. Right, hold on, hold on, y'all, hold on, y'all. I just gotta, and I gotta, you know what I'm saying, make a check real quick. But yeah, bro, there ain't no way this nigga passed, bro. Ain't no way. Ain't no way, bro. This is the house. No so we're just pretty much waiting here until we're, we're supposed to just get our, get our ring in from San Diego. Can you come out here often in Hollywood? Um, I mean, only when I have a job. Yeah, I'm fair enough. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, what year are you in? Uh, oh, okay, okay. So, honey, yeah. so this is the house. Nah. Yeah, you like it? Yeah. Oh, nice. Thank you. Yeah. It's nice. I'm going to be moving soon because my boyfriend's when I look up. So, oh. this is technically, it's technically his house, but everything in it is mine. Nah. So, there's a lot of stuff that needs to go. Like, when I came here first, nothing was furnished. That's I had to buy funny. everything for the house. That's so. Nice. Hey, you chose well. Thank yeah. you, yeah. I don't know. I feel like he was kind of insecure. Yo, bro, like, hey, bro, I, I know the postures, man. A nigga, a nigga that put his arms up like this, man, trying to get sort to look at his muscles, bro. It's, yo, it's easy, man. So I think he just kind of like, you know what I mean? Okay. He was just a little insecure because oh. I made more money than him, but. This shit kind of, bro, yeah, don't school, kinda... no BS. It's kind of like a P-note. If you know, I can't say the word, I might get monetized. This. Yo. So what led to us breaking up a little bit? Yeah. Um, let's go ahead. I know I'm not tripping. Violet's moving out because she just broke up with her boyfriend. She gives Marco careful instructions on what she'll be taking from the house. The wood is really delicate, so if you could grab it as well. You want me to disassemble it? Yeah, I can disassemble it, or if no, you want to. This sofa is mine. This is mine. That's mine. TV, wrap it up, please. What do you think he's thinking right now? I think he's trying to grab some What do you think he's right thinking right now? <laughs> He's like, you don't think that he's thinking like this lady's kind of weird because she wants to leave this, take that, and she's going through like an emotional breakup right now. 
Oh no. Um, this one is pretty heavy. Do you think you're gonna, are they gonna just you? Or? No, I'm, I'll probably get a couple of times. Okay, I mean, you look pretty strong, so. <laughs> um, and then you can take all this right here. Let's leave the rug. All right, they're coming upstairs. Watch your step, it's a little slippery. Remember guys, being a complicated customer was partially how we got Marco to the house. Hopefully we don't annoy him though. Our goal is to continue breaking the professionalism down. Definitely want to keep <laughs> the bed. Walk you walk literally the softest bed ever. You should feel it. It's really nice. <laughs> yeah, it is. And then... I don't think that we should put cameras in the front rooms. Because <laughs> they're like, I want to see. Bala like completes her tour of three or four bedrooms upstairs. She's telling him that this room is supposedly her ex's room. And that's why they're not going to go in it. Everything in there is his. Okay. So, just, yeah, you know. It's infected. No, I'm just kidding. Um, there's a lot. Sorry. The pets, they just walk How in. How long have you been doing this? What do you see? Like four years. Nice, nice. Yeah. I got him in good hands. Yeah. Yeah. I just have one more room over here. <laughs> the tour's almost then, but in order for Marco to give Violet a solid quote, he needs to know the address to her new house in order to calculate his travel costs. As planned, though, Violet has withheld that information from him. There was no new house. We just needed a reason to keep Marco there. I kind of was expecting a lot of stuff, but... Oh, that's no. good. <laughs> it's actually pretty good. Okay, yeah. nice, nice. Yeah, I just need the address for the new place. Yes. Just looking at the house right now, I would say, like, maybe 6,500, but... Hey. With Oh, that's, that's without the address or something. No, yeah, that's yeah. way less than I thought of you, so it's fine. Yeah, so if I want to sign an address, then I can give you like a solid estimate of how Okay, yeah, um, let me text my realtor. She's usually pretty responsive, so she'll get back to me pretty soon. Um, and then I can give you the address and we can finish the estimate. But you can just, you can just sit over there. Um, yeah, do you want anything to drink? Um, I have wine, water. Uh, I will take some water. You some water? Yeah. No, wine, no, it's a crazy. Uh, I'm good, I'm good. Are you sure? Oh, I'm sure. Boring. Okay. So far, how do you... Oh, he don't want a wine, bro. Don't let me get wine, bro. We're going to find out. Yeah, hopefully he stays professional. <laughs> the wine cellar door, oh, Lord. <laughs> I don't know how that happened, but I was going to ask for your help, actually. I don't know how to open this. Could you do it for me? Thank you. Here's the opener. You have really nice arms. Thank you. You go to the gym a lot? Every day. Yeah, I can tell. Oh, damn. I just texted the realtor. She said she'll be here in about five minutes. So, so she'll be here? She'll text. She'll send me the address in about okay, five minutes, okay. yeah. As Violet waits for a realtor to text her the address to her new home, she makes a glass of wine for herself and for Marco. He was already hesitant in having some, which is a good thing. Again, we're just trying to make Violet his most chill and laid-back customer. Am I like the hardest client you've had? Uh, no. <laughs> okay. I definitely had one. All right, Kyle. Go ahead and make your entrance. Over. Okay, sounds good. If you have these new, like, the general location, I can just give you this. I haven't, like, been to it, but my realtor, she knows me pretty well. She knows what I like, so. Yeah, so you just, yeah, you I, I need to taste more medicine, ain't mm -hmm. I just hate Never. sleeping a lot. I mean, I, if I don't like it, I can just get a different one. Wow, okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean. All right, here goes Kyle. I'm just going to wait for her, but just because I don't want to, you know. <laughs> you should try some, though. I know you said you don't really drink, but it's, like, really, it's really good. Try it. He's drinking with he her. He started drinking the wine. Bro, okay, this, this isn't necessarily man, a bad bro. thing, but it does mean that Marco is yeah, this shit over with, We truly bro. were breaking down the professionalism. As soon as he down. asked what site she on, bro, that, 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 the test is already over, man. Like, like wine, more I do not see it. Man. I'll you something you like next time. No. Put the part <laughs> down. Marco dude. doesn't know it, but Violet over, has already been making not her room. We just needed the nail in the coffin for her to go all the way. That, of course, is where Kyle and Julia come in. Can you stop living here? In my car. What are you doing here? Remember the purse that Violet was looking for at the beginning of the test? Well, as it turns out, she left it in her ex-boyfriend's car. You know, the ex that she told Marco all about. I told you I did not want to see you anymore. That's crazy. You can get the f*** out. What does it look like I'm trying to do, Kyle? Damn, Kyle plays a good asshole. <laughs> I don't see movers anywhere. Is here possibly a mover? Excuse you. This is my new man. His name's Marco. Oh, Marco. Oh, wow. So that's you who wants to be the last? Yeah, is he going to say anything? <laughs> I get Kyle was being a dick to Violet, but that was his role. Why did she have to come after him like that, though? I will have you know, my <laughs> man's Kyle is a stud. He's just too busy making all this money to hit that gym. <laughs> my man's is Hercules. He could go back to being Hercules whenever he wants to. But take your pay less ass first off my Why car. the f was my bag in your car? <laughs> Did one of your f yeah. things take my into your car? You're getting mad because he just me over you. I have my own 
I'm a dog. My nigga, I this shit not seem fake as shit. Like, this shit seem fake as a mug. Like, if I was him, I'd be like, bro, this shit happening? Like, it seemed fake. Like, I have Marco. You're the third girl I've seen this week. So he's not, not, he's not going against it though, bro. Please be on my nice week. Okay, thing number two. Get your out of here. Three, four, five. I swear, he brings like a new girl here every day. Sorry, I'm so sorry. No, oh my god, I did not mean to like bring you into that. I'm not talking about the 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 the, the, the of course it's real. I'm not talking about like the acting. It's just just you know it's not terrible. It's just like I wouldn't believe it. Like that's so funny. My ex, so oh, I, I'm sure you I, I can, can see die. why he's an ex. Kyle, he plays a good ass. Okay, what do you think is gonna happen? I think he's gonna go for it. I think he's gonna. He, he's just failing. Don't care, bro. We had no idea what Marco thought of all this, but you guys get what we were going for, right? I literally just met you and I made you pretend to be my boyfriend. <laughs> oh, that's okay. I'll, I'll admit that. I mean, I wouldn't know, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry I didn't mean to do that. I don't know, he's just always doing that. Like, he's such a dick. He always comes in here like a new girl is trying to make me jealous or whatever. I don't even know. Like, definitely seemed like he was trying to make you jealous. But... I mean, it doesn't really make me jealous. I just get more annoyed seeing him. I mean, you saw how he threw that person. Me? Yeah. Like, who does that? He has well, some issues. Well, you leave me, though. Yeah, I mean... Oh. After a very long and elaborate test, the moment of truth had arrived. It was time to see if Marco would remain loyal. I know I was, like, joking with him about that, but honestly, like, he did kind of seem like my type. You know, muscular. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, like, how many more hints should I drop for you to realize I'm trying to get you to ask me out? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, would you want to go out? Oh, yeah, gosh. I mean, if you want oh, to. Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah. We, we see this coming up. Okay. That's cool. Mm -hmm. that, how's that cool? I don't know. It kind of seems like you're... Let me see this. Holy oh, shit. Like what? I don't know, using as a reba. No, no, you're like, like you're typically the kind of guy I would go for. Like, honestly, he's not even my type. Like, don't believe it. I don't know. I find you attractive, and I like actually want to get to know you. <laughs> if you, if you would want to, too. <laughs> um, depends. Depends. Yeah, I mean, if I was just trying to make him jealous, would you mind? Buddy, you're supposed to be here for your job, bro. Well, what, what, what are you trying to? Maybe like, oh my God, you know, bro. do more. He's not denying the fact, so this is automatically. Like, would you mind? I mean, I think it'd be cool. Yeah. Damn. Oh, damn. Damn. I, 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 damn. Yeah. I damn. probably go with whatever. I mean, if that's end goal. Yeah, I mean, we definitely could. Do you have like a, man, you don't have a girlfriend? Y'all focus on y'all sales, man. This, 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 no, this nasty I, work. You don't have a girlfriend? No. no. Is that a fail already? Well, in that case, <coughs> would you maybe want to go out sometime? Yeah, we could do that. Yeah. Damn. Bro, bro gave her a whole, I mean, you think that promise ring is real, man. Like, it's no you gave her the promise ring. I don't know, man. That's well. I mean, it is my. That's crazy. Off of never. I can mm. just say someone else. Yeah. Well, I mean, maybe we can, you know, do something. Do you want to maybe go upstairs then? Wait, what? Really? Yeah, we can go right now. Ain't no mm. way, boy. Ain't no way, boy. Do what exactly? Ain't Make no way, dude. Make really jealous. Mm, you know, the bed's really soft. I was telling you earlier. Maybe we can, you know, go from there, if you know what I mean. I think, I think that's a good place to start. Yeah. <laughs> oh, like that damn. That would make him jealous. <laughs> I mean, hey, they go lie. That shit crazy. Definitely. Yeah. Okay. Well, we can go. Come on. Really? Yeah, come on. Let's go. Oh, my God. Oh my god. This was crazy on so many levels. Oh my god. Oh. Now that nigga wants some wine. Oh my gosh, man. That that that's crazy. 
and having a girl. No. Not only did he agree to go out with Violet, he also agreed to make Violet's boyfriend jealous on the soft bed in the room. I think we all know what that freaking means. Come on now. Is she actually going to take him upstairs? For a guy who said he didn't like wine, Marco was chugging. Eddie, he chugging what he was getting into. He was getting ready. Woo. Okay. Yeah, let Yo, me clean this up. You're supposed to be doing your job, boy. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go, go do that. It. Sorry, I just thought of that. I'll be right back. I think she's stalling. Do you want to see if he actually goes into the room? Because I think she's stalling right now. Maybe so you can go down there and go for him right now, or you can see if she actually takes him into the room. But I think you got to decide, like, right now. If you guys recall, Rihanna was asked how far Violet should take things. She could go all the way, whatever she's feeling. She said all the way. Okay. We see I didn't think she would actually way. do it, but Violet was going all the way. So what do you think you want? You want to? Because you could go downstairs right now. But if you want to go to the room, I could. Nah, all the way. I want to see if you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to see them in the room. Do you want me to yeah. the camera? I'm pretty sure Violet was stalling because she was waiting for us to come downstairs and confront Marco. So we ended up texting her that we were going to keep things going and which room to take them to. I then used my stealthy ninja skills to set up a camera in the bedroom with the quote unquote Oh, this is this crazy. Now I had no idea where to set up this camera. Marco had been in the room before, so moving things around could make him suspicious. Eventually, though, I decided to just hide it under the curtain. It wasn't our best work, but it was enough. I'm pretty sure they would just walk up here for a couple of minutes and then Brianna would confront Marco. Could you see that, though? Put this back in the wine cellar. Putting it back in the oh, color. Yeah. <laughs> oh no! She gave you time to just reconsider your city. You still going, oh, bro? Oh, thank you. It's a gentleman. That's really soft. Yeah. Guess we'll have to test it out. <laughs> oh gosh! Oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> It was a close Effie. call, and we weren't going to be able to see the footage in real time, but the mission was accomplished. Um, I'm going to change into something more comfortable. So I'm going to go do that. I'll be back. Make yourself so comfortable. For sure, for sure. <laughs> just give me a second. I'm going to go change into something more comfortable. So I should, you know, take, you know, take that, that off. Think you think you're going to kill. You think you're going to get this down, boy. If you fire your ass, nigga. I think she's coming in here. I think she's coming in here. Nigga taking his work vest off, man. I didn't expect him to do all that. I'm so sorry. I did not expect him to go that far. What, what happened in the room? He tried to get some. I'm so sorry. I didn't know I expected to go that far. So he's in the room right now. Yeah, I told him to make himself comfortable. <laughs> kind of like taking off his clothes. What? Is he taking off his clothes? <laughs> I think so. Bro, we ain't no waiting for the walk into this nigga being. Hold on, wait a minute. Yeah, I can't take Hold it on. anymore. He was not acting like he had a girlfriend. No way. I mean, just a yard and say you don't have one. That's not even the point right now. Ain't no way I'm finna see this thing and just, just stop. Oh wait, I need to promise me. I need to give up crash back. And with that, Marco had a drastically oh, go test. Nuts. Rihanna made her way to confront her potentially naked boyfriend. I hope you guys If this nigga is naked, I might hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, hold on. This is gonna be Hold on, I'm not trying to look at that, bro. I ain't even gonna lie. Hold on. Oh no, he he's straight. Damn! Oh shit! What the fuck? Damn! Oh nah, nigga. Oh shit! Oh shit, nigga. Damn! Nigga, she stepped the shit out that nigga, bro. Damn! Nah, nigga, that, that's getting replayed again, bro. Marco, what the fuck? What are you doing? Gosh! Oh. Oh. What are you doing in bed with your client? The f was that? What the f was that? Damn! Damn. I'm the best on camera! Now everybody knows you're a man for a live piece of s***. What the f*** do you have to say to yourself? You can't even explain this You just showed your true colors! What's that bad boy? She's gonna give you another haymaker. Here's Cap, boy. Cap. Cap. Cap, bro. Straight up cap. Ah, I don't want any. It's my present. Fuck you. Come on. Hey, hey, no, no, no. Not for the camera. 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 Not for the camera
So, Marco, this entire thing was basically all a test. The truth is, like, none of this was real. We just were helping Rachel. No, that's like, smack. That's smack. Or not. Oh, she had her doubts. Shit. She had her concerns about oh. you. Man, Violet doesn't really live here. This isn't her house. She was just pretending to, like, be into and all that. Like, How many other clients have you been... No. Oh, my God. Serious? You're gonna throw all of this over her? I don't even. She was the one who offered me. But you took it, bro. You can't. You took it, bro. You can't play victim, bro. You took the offer. You should just said no. The alcohol. Okay, she's the one who's trying to get me drunk. You can't. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Our relationship. Been lying this whole time. I didn't even kiss her. You asked her for a kiss. I didn't. You were getting she, naked in the bed. What the do you have to say for yourself? There's nothing for you to explain. You just show your true yeah. colors. You just throw all of this, everything we have over this. Oh. Yes, we're done. I was loyal to you. You're the one that was going behind my back, cheating your clients. How many other clients have you been? How many other none, girls is there? None. I promise you, none. Okay. You're a liar. You're a liar. See, you just see it right there. So anything you say, she's not gonna believe. Get the out of here. I can't stand Bye. you. No, it's no, over. No, it's no, over. No, okay. Bye. 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 Here. Oh, it's over. We're done. Yeah, we're done. You're a pathetic piece of garbage. Man, whore. Baby. Whoa. Nah, deep, deep. Nah, bro. This is one of these aggressive ass females, man. Nah, bro. She might go to your crib and vandalize every single thing that you have, bro. This is not over for you, boy. It's just start. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Baby. Yeah. Damn. Out of here. <coughs> Your shoes untied, nigga. Wow, that was a direct hit. Not once. That was a blow. First with the slap, which I gotta get away from. Shit! I will never let no woman slap me like this, man. It oh my once, gosh. But twice. First with the slap. Damn! Oh! And second was that flawless KO. That shit I mean, hit him? She, she, she's got that in her jeans. Of course that's gonna hit. Oh, I thought he missed. Oh, yes. That boy gonna be having bruises on his face, boy. She really threw the chunk of her. Oh, oh my gosh. But he was way too eager. I think he was trying to ask me if I had a... I mean, bro, don't deserve it. He was like, I was like, oh, I do modeling, content creation, whatever. And he's like, oh, is it like subscription based? I'm not surprised. That's down bad. After worshiping, like, he'd be number one... No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that fashion was. No, literally, you can do so much better. You're gorgeous. I don't know what he was thinking. He's a little little man, though. Focus on you and then just see where things go naturally. You may find the right person to uh, work one day. Just randomly and run into them. I think he's better than someone who acts like that. Like, Facts. He embarrassed himself. Like, he did this to himself, you know? Oh, Lord. Like, Sick is a bug. <sighs> yeah. Wow. It really screws up your perception on dating if you're watching up for these episodes. <laughs> hey man, I'm good, man. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I'm free. You know, I don't have no girlfriend. Um, I don't I don't condone none of that right now. You know what I'm saying? Over time I will. Maybe I don't know, we'll see. Last gonna come roll to K man, so you know, man, that was crazy. That was that slap boy, oh my gosh, I heard that shit right away. You know what I'm saying where I'm at, man. You know what I'm saying? Let's go car road to K. Let me know y'all feel about that, man. Bro, don't y'all ever let no female slap y'all like that. Don't hit no female back. Do not do that. But that slap was crazy, bro. No cap, man. I'm out.